well, that's nice, you know, but what about add to scene? Add to the two add to scene methods are pretty similar also. It was place image square size blah x y s and the other the one for ball looked just pretty much the same. All right, the one for flashing ball looked different. How could we fix that up? In racket there's no such thing as an abstract field, I'm sorry to say. So in racket at least we have to resolve the differences in fields by turning them into method calls and generating them dynamically. So let's take a look and see how that goes. So I'm going to take add to scene. The only thing that differed in the two add to scene methods was the image. So I will take the add to scene method. I'll move it back up here into the superclass. And then I will ask the subclass for the image. I'll say send this get image for an abstract method get image that returns the image for this object. And now down in ball, I will define the get image method. And again, it's an override because it's, it's the uh, override of the abstract method in the superclass, and it was a circle radius if selected on a solid outline red. And similarly for the square. So now the ball and the square are actually pretty short, right? They have only the stuff that is specific to balls and squares. So here for the ball, I've got the radius, I've got the image, and I've got the five geometry methods. And similarly for square. So the idea is that these methods, these abstract methods, are hooks that get called by the superclass. Since every, since every object knows its own class and it owns its own methods, these guys Back up here, when I say send this would hit right edge, this object knows its correct would hit right edge method. 